Lieutenant, I'm a friend of Ethan Thomas. He must be warned. He must know that it's not over. I've tried contacting him, but... He's right there. I said stop. That's me, Ethan Thomas. Drunk, tired, and pissed off. Why? Because this damn city's too fucking blind to see what's killing them. But I can. I've seen the unspeakable. It's out there. I have a feeling we're about to get better acquainted. <laughs> Where is former Agent Thomas? He must be warned. He must know that it's not over. Do you feel it? The fear of being alone. We should have killed you a long time ago. Quiet activity outside. They just needed to build. First floor. Is this the crime scene? Has the body been moved? People like you are the reason I'm on medication. Can't trust anyone now. Ready to have some fun. He found me. I don't have much time. Ethan trusted you. I. No! I received the call 10:36 this morning. Any idea who this man is? Why he called you? No, sir. Where is former Agent Thomas? We're not sure. It's been 11 months since his suspension. He was cleared of those charges. Right. Nevertheless, he resigned from the agency shortly after and basically disappeared. Probably passed out in some gutter. Unlikely. A man like that doesn't just lie down quietly. Okay. Let's find Mr. Thomas and bring him in. For you, it says his name's Malcolm Van Horn. Right, but if he calls again, I'm hanging up. It's a fucking answering machine. I do. <laughs> I sleep in garbage. <laughs> hey, screw you! Oh, we got ourselves a mean drunk. 
real grade A asshole. Look, man, I don't need another enemy. You probably don't need So let's say we start over. Man, I got just the thing that's gonna make us friends and follow me. I guess there ain't much waiting for you at home except for drinking and going. Say that to my face.
destroy them. Making the city a better place? Hey. <laughs> Dead. A lot of dead birds. 
Van Horn, hold up. I want to talk to you. Fucked up! <laughs> 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 
think about it, asshole. If something happens to him, if Malcolm Van Horn dies, you're on your own. And you'll be left to discover the answers the hard way. Find him before it's too late. Don't let anger cost you your greatest life. Malcolm, what's happening?
We're just having a little fun. Do it now. Now step away. Keep your hands where we can see them. Stop. Let him go. This is Dorland. Subject secured. Affirmative. What was that about? Ah, uh, forget it. I need you to listen to this. He found me. I don't have much time. Ethan trusted you. I... Do you recognize the voice? His name is Malcolm Van Horn. Sir, we have a positive ID. Yes, Malcolm Van Horn. Van Horn. Okay. Get Thomas in here. We need to act on this right away. Yes, sir. Report to SCU in one hour. You're joking. Ethan, help us. agreed to help us, but if you want to crawl back under your cardboard box, that's fine by me. Back off. Stand clear of the door. Access the lockbox over there and reload your weapon.
speed ball away at Hertz. Destroy one of their meth labs. Go ahead. Down is all yours, brother. Hold up. You first, Mr. Thomas. introduce a new segment called Streets, hosted by Tony Rhodes. Tony is perhaps best known for his work last year during the SKX murders, and we're very excited to see and learn what he uncovers about the city we live in. Tony? Thank you, Sarah. The streets stream out to us. They are in pain, but no one knows why. I'm going to live, eat, breeze the streets for the next few weeks to see if we, the public, can find out what evidently the local government can't or won't tell us. Stay tuned to City News for further live on-the-scene reports. I'm Tony Rhodes. shots in the recording suggesting that we may be looking for two bodies, one being Van Horn, the other a Metro police officer. Signature overlays indicate that both shots came from the same weapon, a 38 caliber handgun. Any officers reported in the area during the time of the call? We've been informed that a Metro officer in the area is no longer responding. Find him. He 
He may be in need of assistance. All right, let's move on. While reviewing the recording, I came across a rumbling noise in the background. It was faint, but when I cross-referenced the sample to known sources, I was able to narrow it down to a passing commuter train. Is there a commuter train that passes near the hotel? Yes, Metro Transit Rail passes by the north wing. Narrow your search to that area. To the hotel lobby. Copy that, search team. What are you planning on doing? Taking a shortcut now. Step back! We can access the main lobby through here. I'll go first. LaRue will bring up the rear. Your turn, Mr. Thomas. Here comes. Go! 
Sorry, I don't get the bright idea of coming in here. Just stay focused on finding Van Horn. Thomas. Stop worrying. I'm in the main lobby. Rosa, come in. Glad to hear you're still with us. What do you got? A dead body. Okay, let's try and make an ID.
Blood spatter fans outwards, so the victim must have dropped down from the floor above. Rosa, I'm proceeding to the second floor. Are you onto something? Possibly. Copy that. Watch your back. Ah! <laughs> 
it.
where they walk. I have taken the bum tour, and much of what I have seen can't be fully explained. They appear to be rambling madmen, crazy women, all bent on destruction. But there is a sense of purpose, almost a sense of organization. The violence spirals out of control for the police and fire departments, and here I remain at Ground Zero. Stay tuned to City News for further live on the scene reports. I'm Tony Rhodes. Rosa, I've got more evidence here. Is it related to the victim you found earlier? Let me verify. Okay, receiving data. Awesome work. If the killer murders his first victim, then seconds later shoots Van Horn, Van Horn's body must be nearby, like in an adjacent room.
located Van Horn. Excellent. Mr. Thomas, what's your location? I'm in room 119. Copy that. We're on our way. You're not to touch anything until we arrive. Ethan, in the meantime, send me a picture of the body. Receiving image. Excellent work. Now get a close-up of his face. Second image. Good work. And finally, get a tight shot of the chest area. Got it. Sending it to you now. Copy that. Be careful, Ethan. I hear it's getting pretty crazy out there. Have the lab ready. Nobody is to examine the body until it has been removed. Is that understood? Good. I'll see to our other problem, personally. Dorland out. I wonder what that was about. Okay, receiving image now. God, what a mess. He took the entire sternum. Wait a minute. This is not possible. Ethan. Ethan, come in. One, there ain't no waiting for this table. English, LaRue! Get your ass here or we're toast! Roger that!
wires and riots have broken out. Tony, can you hear me? Yes, sir. going on.
Are you one of them? Do you make the sound? Hmm. You look normal enough, but it's hard to tell sometimes. What? The Dark Blood, the Metal Kings, the Oro. Know these people? Don't want to know them, but they know us. <laughs> Ethan, come in. Are you there? Rosa. <laughs> You're all right. Talk to me. I've lost contact with the team. <laughs> Bastards. Sounds like I missed something. Nothing I can't take care of. Tell me, why was finding Van Horn so damn important? Don't really know. I was hoping you could tell me that. No fucking clue. We need to talk. Hang tight. I'm on my way. Rosa, how will I find you? They've closed the roads leading into that part of town. The nearest I can get is Stafford Street. Can you meet me there? It beats sticking around here. Dorland says jump, you jump. It's more complicated than that. My feathers are roughly like yours, but now is not the time. An eyewitness saw somebody fit your description into an old doll factory. Is that where you at? My parents moved here from New Orleans when I was a young boy. I grew up in this neighborhood and I want to help. Yeah, the Walker Doll Factory. Good. I played in that old place as a kid. I knew it like the back of my hand. Now the first thing you need to do is find a mask, ASAP. That doll stuff is toxic when burned. What part of factory are you in? I see four Type A tanks, two Type B tanks, and a bunch of other factory stuff. Hmm. Sounds like the factory's mixing facility. There's only one way out of there. A roll-up door at the far end. The panel that opens the door is located on the catwalk above the tanks. Ah, the panel has a lock on it. The factory manager can remember more than his name, so he wrote the combo on the wall in his office.
Thomas. The whole factory is going up in flames. You need to find the safety foreman's office and grab a mask. Where is this damn office? On the second level. Oh, and one more thing. If you come across the ventilation control room, use the air duct as a shortcut. You usually have to move a bunch of shit to find a vent door.
Rest assured, officials are currently investigating the increased activity. Thank you. She further stated after the news conference that city businesses outside the riot zone should, if at all possible, stay open. Normal economical activity must continue if we are to make it through this tough time. This is Sarah Brenton, City News. I'm in the safety foreman's office, and the stupid masks better be here. This should be in a large cabinet marked masks. Great, it's fucking empty. Now what? There, okay, let me think for a minute. Try looking in the bottom drawer of the foreman's desk. Oh, Jesus, I hope I've been stirring you in the wrong direction. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm near service elevator 3B. Excellent. At the top of the shaft is a vent that leads to the alley. That's how I used to sneak in and out of that place as a kid.
Where's your car? Just down the street. Good. Let's get the fuck out of here. My gun? I need to show you something at the office first. You're kidding. I'm not going anywhere near that place. I might do something I'll regret. Listen, just calm down a minute. I may have found something important. A connection. Between what? Between you and Malcolm Van Horn. Preliminary pathology indicates the victim died from a gunshot wound to the head. More remarkable is the extensive damage done to the chest area. If we look here, we can see that the entire sternum has been extracted. Now the killer inserted what I'm guessing to be a large hunting knife, roughly six to eight inches in length, here at the base of the belly. He then made an X-shaped incision that extends up to the bottom of the chin. He clearly was not concerned with surgical technique. It appears he only wanted access to the rib cage and You the... said you found a connection. I'm getting to that. Rosa, I'm tired and my head is screaming for a drink, so get to the point. All right. Take a look at this. When I first examined the crime scene photos you sent me, I was a little taken back by the abnormal structure of his vocal cords. They're really quite amazing, and unlike anything I've ever seen before. So he had a deformity? Possibly. Does this look familiar? It's an x-ray of my chest. You showed me this during the SKX investigation. Right, and we noted it odd that your throat area was redacted, or in layman's terms, blackened out. I remember, but... Why? Why is it classified as top secret? And why was the same done to Van Horn? Van Horn? What do you mean? His vocal cords are missing. They've been cut out. What? Yeah. And the question is, who's trying to keep it a secret? There's something else. I overheard a conversation. Well... I don't know if I trust Dorland. Dorland's a two-faced ass, if you ask me. Well, there's certainly no love loss between you two. Here, lay down on this table. I want to take an x-ray of your chest. Let's find out if you have the same abnormality. Still, I'll be back shortly. Okay, I'm gonna take a few shots. Try not to move. Rosa, I'm ready to get the fuck out of this thing. Rosa, you still there?
Hello? Anybody here? Rosa? Mr. Thomas, right? I'm Agent Pennington, head of security. Are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm fine. What the hell's going on? We gotta get you out of here. We're evacuating the building. We'll see if you can open it from your side. The magnetic locks didn't release when the power went out. Mr. Thomas, are you sure you're all right? You'll be some big trouble, just like the others. Damn it! Leave me alone! Who the hell are you talking to? Forget this man. He's already dead. You're not real! You're wasting time. Mr. Thomas, who the fuck are you talking to?
What? He's dead. Let's get out of here. We just need to get out of here and everything will be fine.
God. I'm getting tired of seeing shit in my head. Still having hallucinations? Perhaps it's your drinking. My drinking is not an issue. Right. Look, I'll go get this processed. In the meantime, Farrell wants to see you in his office for a mission debriefing. Keep your cool. Corner office, fifth floor. Come in. Sit down, Mr. Thomas. Can I get you anything? Yeah. Five aspirins and a shot of soda water. I don't think we... Forget it. Mr. Thomas, please sit so we can get started. Okay, let's begin. I'll be asking you questions regarding the recovery mission of Malcolm Van Horn. Please answer them to the best of your ability. Are you ready to begin? As ready as I'll ever be. All right. What happened immediately after leaving the hotel? We carried Van Horn's body away from the hotel. Was LaRue with the group at the time? Yes. What happened next? Dorland shot a power transformer, creating a small explosion. And that's when you were separated from the team, jeopardizing the success of the mission? Jesus, that was not my fault! Grill Dorlin or LaRue about what happened. Mr. Thomas, you should know that Special Agent Dorland is missing. We picked up Agent LaRue a few blocks from the hotel. He and Dorland got separated soon after the victim was extracted. I need you to help us fill in the blanks. Let's continue. Where were you when the helicopter arrived? I was in an apartment complex next door. Explain what happened once Van Horn was secured. 
The helicopter started taking fire. Who ordered the pilot to leave the team behind? Dorland. Now, this next question is very important, Mr. Thomas. Why did the team split up? Look, let's stop holding hands like a couple of fucking girls. I know, all right? You didn't want me to come back. Dorland made that perfectly clear. Mr. Thomas, please. You gave Dorland the order to leave me behind. An unfortunate casualty in the line of duty or some bullshit. Did LaRue tell you that? So you're not denying it, then? <sighs> Wires got crossed. There was a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? I almost got killed! Sit down. Fuck you! I'm ordering you to sit down. Jesus Christ! Just shoot me and get it over with! Why did you bring me back? You knew, Van Horn, what to look for. It was just another stiff. Why the risky mission? It was important. We control the situation. Cooperation, Mr. Thomas. That's all I wanted. Cooperation? Then what? Kill me? No. You've got it wrong. You're lying. Why the order to leave me behind? That order did not come from me. My orders were to keep you safe. I swear it. Uh, excuse me, Director? Sir, I've got Agent Dorland on the phone. He says it's important. <sighs> yeah, put him through. Is everything okay in there? Yeah, yeah, just do it. This is Dorland. Agent, where the hell have you been? Mayor Rachel Mars has been murdered. What? Where? She was found, well, most of her was found in the new museum downtown. Strips of muscle torn from bone, and her head is missing. Actual cause of death is unknown. How'd you make an ID? Well, she was wearing this badge. Now, apparently, she was visiting the museum director to discuss delays regarding the grand opening. Media? Expect a maelstrom any minute. Someone knows. First Van Horn, and now... Keep your voice down. Agent Thomas? Mr. Thomas. I found this on the body. Mr. Thomas, take a look around. Dolan and I are heading back to the agency. Remember our discussion. I'm trying to protect you. Get this to Agent Rosa, SCU ASAP. I'll have it delivered right away. There's too little blood. It should be splattered all over the place. Tire trail leads to the door. Certainly suggests the actual crime scene and possibly the head are somewhere in the museum. Unfortunately, we're under strict orders not to enter the museum. Doesn't mean dick to me. <laughs> yeah. Follow me. 
Here, let me give you a lift. Step. The regime is beefed up. Avoid the guards if possible. If you need to take them down, don't use a weapon. I'll take that under advisement. Last time I saw that psycho, half his face lined the inside of a trunk. Well, the body was never recovered, so I guess the chance he survived was always there. Mr. Thomas, the coroner just arrived. He's examining the body now. I'll keep you posted if anything turns up. Okay, this is what we know so far. The victim is Mayor Rachel Mars, age 55, found dead inside the City Museum of Natural History. Body has severe lacerations about the back, chest, and arms, resulting in excessive hemorrhaging. There's also an extensive tearing of muscle and ligament within the same region. Head decapitated just above the collarbone. The whereabouts is still unknown. All right, and now for the note you sent me. Found on the victim's body was a piece of paper with strangely drawn eyes on one side. And on the other, the acronym of a serial killer known as Serial Killer X. Both written with a black felt tip pen. Did you find any fingerprints on the paper? Yes. I ran it through IAFIS. And guess whose name popped up? Leland Van Horn. I don't need to tell you this, but let's make it official. Leland Van Horn, AKA Serial Killer X, or just SKX, was allegedly responsible for nine serial murders in the greater metro area. He's the nephew to Malcolm Van Horn, and was thought to be dead, killed by a gunshot to the face. His body was never recovered. Do you think Van Horn nursed his nephew back to hell? I'd say it's the most likely scenario. I have a theory. SKX gets one in the grill. His own flesh and blood, Malcolm Van Horn, nurses him back to health. SKX turns on his uncle and kills him. For perhaps the same reason he murders Rachel Mars. Keep searching the museum. We need more information. Receiving image. Good work. That's an odd-shaped saw. Looks medieval in origin. Get a shot of the handle, will you? Got it. Excellent. Look at that. A fingerprint. Give me a moment. Okay, over 50% of the fingerprint found on the handle is compromised by smudging. However, after running the print through IAFIS, I'm able to get a positive match on our suspect, SKX. I'd say SKX is very much alive and is now the prime suspect in the murder of Rachel Mars. What about the saw? You said it looked medieval. Yeah, I hear the museum will feature one of the largest medieval exhibits in the country. Ethan, find the exhibit that tool came from. SKX was certainly there at one point.
Okay, hold on a sec. Camera 1501 was installed a week ago and just completed its 48-hour stress test. Ethan, if you think SKX may be on camera, find the surveillance room and let's take a look. Okay, I'm in the surveillance room. Find the backup drive, and let's see if our favorite madman has made a cameo. Okay, the feed is coming in now. Wow, disturbing, but not overly revealing. Keep looking for the exhibit. City News. With her head reportedly missing, Mayor Rachel Mars is dead. Her decapitated body was found earlier today at the Museum of Natural History. Apparently she was murdered, suffering extensive cutting about her body. There are no leads as of yet, but the federal and local authorities have cordoned off the area in an attempt to locate the perpetrators of this heinous crime. More after this. Rosa, I found a museum directory. Good. Tell me the area of the museum you want to find. Got it. Let me check the blueprints. Okay, Ethan, your GPS has been updated. Get this situation under control. 
cancelled due to the death of the mayor. Local residents wonder if the battle to regain the city they once knew has been lost. At the scene is Tony Rhodes. Tony, what do you make of this? Tony? Yes, sir. I'm now a block away from the museum and have seen the unthinkable. Looters scurrying away from the museum, arms loaded with priceless objects of antiquity. It appears the museum has been targeted by these thieves, some literally wearing artifacts out on their persons. Excuse me, sir. Care to make a comment about the latest event? Craziest damn thing! A goddamn Sir Lancelot running down the street, lights and armor and shit! Even had a fucking sword! Well, that was a rather colorful description. Thank you, Tony. This is City News. Ah! <laughs> 
same territory the other night. You sitting me? Tell me you're out there. I'm on. Just get your ass down here. I don't like the look of this.
damage. Nice work. Looks gruesome. Are we sure it's even blood and not red paint? Get a sample so we can determine one way or another. And while you're at it, collect a sample of those weird-looking metal pieces. Receiving sample data from your field kit now. Let's see. Blood type is AB negative, which is the same as Rachel Mars. Less than 1% of adults have this type, so I would say we have a match. All right, now let's take a look at those metal pieces. Evidence sample consists of thin metal strips and small bolt-shaped pins. Alloy properties similar to Damascus steel, but does not match known foundry formulas. Blood, human tissue, and bone fragments are present on all surfaces of sample. Any evidence the metal pieces came from Rachel Mars' body? Yes. The coroner has found extensive scar tissue throughout her body and bored holes in her bones, matching the dimensions of the metal pieces you discovered. I'd say Rachel Mars had a secret, and it may have gotten her killed. What? Some sort of fucked up masochistic lifestyle? Whatever it was, it looked painful. The pathology report will tell us if she was abusing painkillers. Ethan, the cops are on their way. We finally managed to get a warrant to search the rest of the museum. Get to the main lobby if you can.
You're looking more beat up every time I see you. I think I overstayed my welcome. I found something when investigating Van Horn's body. Metal pieces? No, 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 something better. I found traces of fecal matter on his shoes. Let me finish. It belongs to an endangered deer species found only in the Black Lake region. You mean the wildlife preserve up north? Yeah, I figure the best way to track SKX is to start with Van Horn and work our way back. Seems like a long shot, if you ask me. Two-hour flight tops. I'll make the arrangements for a plane to take you there. <sighs> All right. I could use some sleep. Good. Dorland here has volunteered to take you. What do you hope to find up there? The target just boarded the plane. shows you do have vocal cords similar to Van Horn's. But even more bizarre. I'm related to Van Horn, is that what you're saying? The thought crossed my mind. However, I was able to confirm that you do not share blood with that family. That's comforting. But you still think I'm connected somehow? Yes, I do. It just seems kind of crazy, that's all. When you land, search the lodge thoroughly and learn as much as you can. It's been abandoned for decades, but I have a hunch both Van Horns were there recently. <sighs> How much time we got left? Hey, buddy, did you hear me? Hello, Ethan. 
We don't have much time, so I'll get right to the point. Your old boss, Pharaoh, is trying to protect you. Have you taken a moment to contemplate the meaning of this? He's the one that hired you. He guided you through the ranks at SCU and has kept a close watch on your career. Perhaps he's done this under false pretenses. He may have ulterior motives, using you. Something to think about when choosing your friends. you level with me. No bullshit. Yes, yes, you have every right to question me. Look, there are some of us who see you as a threat. The enemy. Where do you stand? I see you as an asset. A special tool too great to be wasted. Remendium. Remendium? I don't understand. Hello? Rosa, come in. You made it. How was your flight? Slept like a baby. Good. What do you have? Receiving evidence. Ew. See if you can determine how fresh it is. It's coming in now. Let's see. February 24th is today, and 12.03 in the morning was less than six hours ago. This is pretty fresh. You better get a sample and send me the data. Receiving data. Okay, give me a moment. The skin tissue and blood type are definitely human in origin. I'm also detecting concentrations of mineral salts, urea, and amino acids in the sample. It looks like saliva. I need more time to analyze this properly. Keep looking for the lodge. I'll call you back in a few. Triggered by dehydration. 
Dehydration? With all this snow? Dehydration can also be caused by disease. Kidney failure, dysentery, hydrophobia. By the way, Ethan, hydrophobia is the later stages of rabies. So watch yourself. Rosa, I found a body. Can you make an ID? I know this name. One of Dorland's men. Very odd. Nobody but you should be up there. I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. Hell of a time to change your mind. Search the main lodge. Then get the heck out of there. I can't get into it right now, but something weird is going on here, too. Someone did. 
But it couldn't have been any known technologically at that country that we are aware of. There must be some faction, some unknown group that has taken metallurgy to a new level. But for what purpose? And where is this metal sample now, Professor? It is, regrettably, missing. This is City News. up to. I don't understand. This can't be a sanctioned SCU operation. But they're using an SCU frequency. Find Van Horn's library. Do it carefully. And quickly. Rosa, I found the door to the library, but it seems to be rigged with some sort of device. Possibly an explosive. Nothing is ever easy, is it? Can you give me more information? Give me a minute to look up this number. Wow, a DETM-12X. Class A. High-power detonator used to control multiple remote blast points. Real hardcore stuff. If you see a blinking LED, it means the detonator has been armed, and that's a problem. Ethan, you'll need to find and dispose of all the remote blast points before you can even breathe on that detonator. The system is linked together by pneumatic tubes filled with a gas that glows under UV lighting. This should make finding the blast points easier.
Rosa, I'm sending you a picture. Could you decipher the meaning of the engravings? Receiving image. Excellent. Let's continue our discussion through your field kit. Okay, the phrase, my uncle saved me to rise again, seems to confirm that SKX was brought back to the lodge by Van Horn to recover from his injuries. He makes mention of an organization called the Oro. I've never heard of it, but I'll look into it. These sketches off to the side are a bit more unsettling. The metal pieces are similar to the pieces ripped from the body of Mayor Rachel Mars. You're on to something. Keep looking.
Officer Cameraman Ben Feist. Please notify the authorities immediately if you have any information regarding this unfortunate event. This is City News. explosives are taken care of, get back to the detonator on the door as fast as you can. The countdown will be triggered. The Attorney General, although only slightly drunk, could not explain his nudity. Now for the local news. Stalking footage taken from a group of writers themselves using the camera stolen from the city news van two days ago has shown up on the internet. The city news jacket in the scene worn by one of the rioters does appear to be the size and stature of our missing cameraman Ben Feist, but we cannot confirm that this is his jacket, nor that the red stains on the shoulders is his blood. We'll bring you more on this as it develops. This is City News.
Rosa, I'm back at the detonator and you're right. It's counting down. Okay, quickly describe it to me. There are a couple possible configurations. Got it. Let's see. Okay, according- Rosa, the detonator's been deactivated. Rosa, Van Horn's computer is asking, what makes me special? It sounds like a password request. Hello, Ethan. My future is uncertain, and so I leave this message to you. I made a promise to your parents long ago, but under the circumstances, I must break that promise. Your life, the real truth, was never to be revealed. But times have changed, and I fear danger has come to you like it has come to me. When your parents defected from the Oro, they were hunted down and killed. Your identity remained a secret, and only I knew of your existence. But that is no longer the case. The Oro has reached new levels of power, and they suspect your potential and will, no doubt, see you as a threat. Now... I know foster homes were tough on you, but it was necessary to try and maintain anonymity. I hope you understand that I did my best. To complicate matters, my nephew, the person you know as SKX, just recently found hope in the Oro. This was never my intention. In fact, I've spent the majority of my life opposing the Oro. They were responsible for the death of my wife and child so many years ago. This put my nephew and me at odds, resulting in the current state of my affairs. He will stop at nothing to become one of them. And this is why our paths are crossing once again. Be careful, Ethan. The Oro's power is intoxicating, crippling, and... agents are everywhere. I'm afraid to step outside my lab. If they find out I've been helping you, I, I don't know what they'll do. What about Farrell? Nobody knows where he is. He's just gone. Right now, Dorlin and his agents are acting as if nothing is out of the ordinary. And the commissioner is here, and he and Dorlin are acting like old college buddies. 
I mean, the city is crumbling all around us. Riots, fires, murders, and now this? I, what's going on? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just worried something bad is about to happen. I'm sure there's an explanation for all this. Why is the commissioner there? Apparently they found him. Found who? SKX. Near the old bowling alley in Trenton. As wild as this may sound, SKX can help us. Speak to him. Ask him why all of this is happening. If he's got something to say, I'll get it out of him. Dolan's men are there, and they're not letting anyone near the scene. Leave that to me, Rosa. I can get us in. How do I know you're not working with Dorlin right now? I've taken my last order from that asshole. Ethan, LaRue is the only other agent I trust right now. There's nobody else. No one. We're on our own. SKX in the bus. We need to act fast before they take him to SCU. I'll draw the two agents away while you sneak in. What about the guy inside? That's your call, but whatever you do, do it quietly. Is your business here, Agent? I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd get a look at the infamous SKS. Does Dorland know you're here? No, not officially, but like I said, I was nearby, thought I offered my services. We're getting along just fine. So maybe. Why did you kill your uncle? He refused to cooperate. He had it coming. What about the mayor? Did you kill her for the same reason? Jesus! <laughs> How's the finger? Miss it? Do you... Think of me when you go to scratch. I think of you every time I look in the mirror. Answer my question, you sick bastard. Or the fingers you left me will wrap around your neck. Answer me! <gasps> Such power. The Oro? Of course, the Oro. Why kill Van Horn and the mayor? Their body is possessed. Rioro's secret. It was necessary. The Oro! Who are they? Where can I find them?
shit! LaRue! Go after him. Hurry! Okay. Responding. What's happening? LaRue's hurt, and that bastard SKX has escaped. What? I I'll send help. Don't let SKX get away. Oh! <laughs> 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 
Rosa, I found some sort of list. Hold on. One of Dorland's men just walked by. Okay, give me the details. The info is coming in now. A strange collection of names to find in a bowling alley. I recognize all of them, except Magic Man. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alford. Her psychotic episode had sliced open her arms, legs, back of her hands and lower abdomen in some apparent search inside herself. She then sutured herself back up but bled to death in the process. She had sewn over 600 stitches into her own skin before giving into blood loss and passed out. Her body was found that evening by her father. Rosa, come in. I've located Farrell. You did? Is he alright? What's his condition? He's still alive, but cut up pretty badly. Okay. Well, the list of names now makes sense. It's a list of SKX's targets. The Magic Man, whoever he is, must be next. Even SKX is studying me. Same as he did with the others. Help me. Cut these straps so I can get out of here. He's experimenting on the homeless. Testing. Perfecting. Hurry. They know you're here. SKX is delusional and psychotic, just like his test subjects. Let's move cautiously. Ugh! <laughs> 
The two-faced rat himself. You still haven't grasped the situation, have you? Beryl's your executioner. He's not worthy of your loyalty. Don't do this, Dorland. He belongs with us. You're a fool if you don't see him. When did the SCU employ murderers? I take orders from the Oro, and so should he. Isn't that right? Get up! Finish the job! Kill him before he ruins everything! No! Do it! Remember who you are! I risk everything. Find the voice! What's this about? <coughs> I thought you were on their side. Shut up! Think of this as a future investment. Yes. I look forward to cutting you open. Learn your little secret. But now is not the time. Ethan, something's happened. There's panic. Dorland's agents are gathering everyone up for questioning. They're looking for you. Rosa, listen to me. The Magic Man. I, I know that name. A real tricky son of a bitch. Hangs out at Svensson's Magic Theater. Have you heard of it? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Meet me there as soon as you can. And make sure you're not followed. Okay, I'm on my way.
Ethan, wake up. It's okay, you were having a nightmare. <sighs> Damn! My head is killing me. You're exhausted. We both are. Like I was saying, SKX is out of the picture. Dorland and the Oro are our main concern. This may end up being a wild goose chase, but if we're right, the magic man can help us. regarding the Oro and came up with very little. What's odd is that there's no mention of the organization in any government database. However, I managed to locate a few fan sites on the internet. From what I can gather, the name Oro is short for Oro Invictus, which means invincible voice. It appears they've been around for more than 3,000 years. Pretty remarkable, if true, but we must consider the source. You see anything about the Oro's purpose, their objective? No specifics, but I get the impression that the Oro's primary goal is to manipulate, possibly to change the natural course of human evolution. However, the information is too sketchy to establish anything concrete.
American washed-up SCU agent with a chip on his shoulder. Our reason for reporting him? He is now SCU's number one most wanted. If you see him, report it immediately to the authorities. Help us recapture our city from the brink of destruction upon which it teeters. This is City News. Are you suggesting this organization is responsible for all that's wrong in the city? Maybe not all. It's probably just the rambles of a man who's psychotic himself. But something about it rings true, though. Imagine if all of man's atrocities, war, murder, acts of cruelty, the very origins of crime itself can be explained and linked to this group. I'll admit it's pretty far-fetched, but a tantalizing theory nonetheless. Does he describe how Sonic Generation works? He does. It's a little sci-fi, but here's what he wrote. Their ability to create sonic tones is due in part to an enlarged hollow sternum and a higher than normal bone density. Unique vocal cords can create, when trained, complex sounds that reverberate through the sternum and chest cavity like a finely tuned instrument. Now get this. Various metal apparatuses surgically implanted into the bone and skin can amplify the effect. Wow, pretty interesting stuff. Our next performance is a real crowd pleaser. Death comes by some horrible means. Believe the unbelievable. I'm not here to play your fucked up games, Magic Man. No. No, not like a bird. Not like those other helpless people lining the bowels of the city. Enough babbling. Come out so I can see you. You're not so easily influenced. That much is obvious. That... That would be so... Ordinary. You're much more... Aren't you?
the underground is abuzz, Mr. Thomas. How do you know who I am? Fear travels fast. Start making some sense. <laughs> Remendium, the remedy, was supposed to be a myth, a bedtime story. But now, uh, you've made them think otherwise. You can all go to hell. Wait! Please! It's a gift! <sighs> the ideal body, perfectly tuned from birth, capable of resonating a sound so powerful it can destroy flesh and bone. It's what they fear most, a power greater than theirs. This is bullshit. Are you a member of the Oro? A sick, incestuous organization? No, no, not anymore. But I can tell you, they are on the verge of suffocating this city. What? Let's just say, Big Brother is all grown up and hungry for power. Where can I find them? Oh, you, you don't know what you're asking. I can't... All right! Ah, uh, the peninsula. The answers you want are there. A warning to the old, the young, and the weak at heart. It only gets more fantastical, more, dare I say, fucked up from here. <laughs> Send my regards, Mr. Thomas. Are you sure about this? Absolutely. The barge is the quickest way to the peninsula. But it's nothing but a landfill. According to the magic man, it's where we can find the Oro. Maybe we should call the police. You said it yourself. We can't trust anyone now. Rosa, I've rattled their cage. This may be our only chance to get to the bottom of what's going on. They want me dead. Dorlin made that perfectly clear more than once. You don't understand. Oh. Rosa, come in. Talk to me. Shit.
Rosa, what's happening? Lay low for Christ's sake. I'm working my way to the far end of the barge. Meet me there.
Have to call for help. You stay right here. Rosa! You'll be okay. Don't worry. No. Trust no one. Don't let them get to you. I won't. Now just sit tight. I'll be right back. Of what? That I'm a freak? That I'm slowly losing it? To some degree, yes. Your hallucinations are an unfortunate side effect of their influence. It's what they want you to experience. But it's not real. I'm not real. <laughs> Vox Remendium Unis. The voice. The remedy. The one. That's what's real. Enough! I don't want to hear it! It's what you are. It's what the Oro fears most. Many have died to protect you, Ethan. Including your parents. No. Acceptance, Ethan. Acceptance.
shards make for oddly appealing abstract compositions, but there's no mistaking that some form of evil exists there. At least that's the belief of many local residents. It's a blemish on the landscape of our city and can be seen from almost every vista. But what can be done? These were the words of the late Tony Rhodes, pre-recorded only hours before his death. Beautiful, thoughtful, the end of a great reporter and friend. This is Sarah Brenton, City News. Good night.
As you can see, our sonic ability has had a negative impact on us, too. More and more new mortals. My souls born without arms. It's a bit cruel, but they make the great watchdog.
The city is under constant surveillance, and soon our systems will be in full operation, further propagating our sonic ability. There's no escaping us, Mr. Thomas. You don't have the fucking right influencing people's lives like this.
You're a fool. Shut up. What are the Oro's motives? To create hostility. The unwavering desire to fight. <laughs> to, to unknowingly become protectors. Protectors from what? Tell me! You don't know, do you? Christ, you're the fool. A puppet like everyone else. Enjoy the scenic route, asshole! Cutting it a bit close, wouldn't you say? Well, you made it. That's the important thing. Anyway, the you-know-what has really hit the fan. You've uncovered something big, and I suspect over the next few weeks, more will be weeded out. Good thing, too. Some really influential people belong to the Oro. Hey, buddy. Soon as they fix that leg up, let's say you and I go get a drink. I don't think so, LaRue. Right on. Hey, man. Call me Pierce. My friends call me Pierce. <sighs> What I need is some sleep. and violence. It appears to be a national problem. We're looking into the issue. We're also supporting all local agencies in their efforts to... Oh, uh, excuse me for a moment.
dégager.
Oh, you got!
bitch!
Daddy.
Direct! 